Good evening to you. This evening, I'm going to cover um, assignment one, uh, CRS 2614, uh, 2021, semester one, assignment one. Uh, and I'm going to talk about Q message box and Q input dialog or in input box. Okay. So I'm going to open up my QT program. All right. A screen like this appears. I'm going to click on new project. And for mine, I'm going to choose a applications program and I want a Q widgets application. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and choose. It's asking me where I want to store it. So I'm happy to store it here. Um, the name I'm going to call it uh, assignment one. Okay. And um, yeah, also Q1. Okay, for question one, I'm going to click on next. I'm happy for it to leave it as a QT MinGW 32 bit program. So I'm going to click on next. Over here, I'm not going to choose a Q main window. I just want a basic Q dialog. And for the class name, I'm just going to call it temperature calculator. calculator all right so what it'll do is it'll create a header file a CPP file and a UR file all right I'm going to just click on next okay so there it's telling me all the files it's going to create I click on finish okay now it's gone ahead and created and generated my files now you'll see here I've got a profile which is uh, tells me that my target name is assignment one the template is an app it's using QT plus widgets core GUI I've got a main CPP a temperature calculator CPP temperature calculator header and a forms file if I click on the forms then I've got all these uh, you can see all my files so I really don't want a form so I'm going to remove the file I'm going to choose this option of delete file permanently so you can take it away um, I've got this these two files here I don't need a header and a CPP file so I'm going to remove these files too okay go ahead for delete um, definitely uh, do you want to save it? No. Close. Um, here, I'm going to say remove file. I'm going to say delete permanently. Okay. And you see how it removes it out of the files, out of the, the Q profile. So now all I've got is a main.cpp file. So when I come to my main CPP file, what I like about it is it seems to have most of my code template in here. Um, I'm not going to need this header. I'm not trying to import this header. So I'll take that that out. Um, I don't have a temperature calculator um, as such anymore. So I'm going to take all of that code out. And now I've got a very basic template um, of what to do. Okay. And so the assignment requires me to create a temperature calculator and then do the conversion um, from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit okay so when I think about it um, what is the first things that I need um, first of all I want the user to be able to input um, the Celsius and I've got to reflect the um, Fahrenheit so I would start off with a double, okay, um, double, and I would say Celsius, okay, and I'm going to initialize this value to zero, okay, so there I've got my double Celsius uh, zero, then 
because I'm working with a conversion to Fahrenheit, I'm going to create another variable called Fahrenheit, okay, also of data type uh, double, so let's go ahead and do that, and I'm also going to initialize that to zero, okay, all right, so um, now the next thing is, I need to create a um, Q dialog and I need this Q dialog to take in the Celsius figure. So for this I'm going to say Celsius equals and I'm going to use a Q input dialog. Okay. Now you'll notice that Q input dialog is not highlighted okay and the reason for that is because the program itself doesn't know that we want to use Q input dialog so if you have a look at the moment it's not highlighted but as soon as I go and I add an include all right include and I say Q dialog um, input I want a Q input dialog Q input dialog okay now Q input dialog is all of a sudden highlighted in a nice color all right so I'm gonna say to it that you know what I wanted to get the double variable um, from the user so I'm going to start as a parent with zero okay and then I'm going to give my Q input dialog a title okay so my title is going to be a temperature calculator calculator all right just like that uh, the next uh, part that I need to do is to mention something to the user what must the user do so I'm going to say uh, enter temperature in Celsius. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to have a value of zero. Um, yeah. A value of zero. Default value of zero. Okay. And then I don't forget to put my um, my semicolon. All right. Now I'm going to perform my calculation uh, of the conversion from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to say Fahrenheit um, Fahrenheit equals open bracket nine times Celsius divided by five plus 32 okay so I've got my calculation all right and then I'm going to create a Q string response um, all right so I'm going to declare a variable of type Q string okay I'm going to say response and I'm going to say Q Q string and we're going to say temperature, temperature, and then what you do is you use the percentage and a number, and this percentage number is the location of where you can add argument variables, okay? So at the moment I'm saying temperature, percentage 1, is in uh, C for Celsius, Okay, so I'm going to leave it next to the one. All right, um, is equivalent to. I'm going to put another argument variable, and I'm going to display the Fahrenheit um, number. All right, and then I'm going to say on the next line, I'm going to ask it for a third, um, a third argument. Okay. And so I've got the all my arguments declared there. 
are all um, mentioned in the Q string. So I'm going to say arg and I want the Celsius um, value to be displayed. Okay, so that's my first argument. My second argument is going to be my Fahrenheit. Um, okay, Fahrenheit, yep. And then uh, my third argument, I'm going to ask the user, um, do you want to enter another temperature? Okay. And that is that. Okay. So I'm going, I mustn't forget, I need to put that over here and then I'll put it like that. All right. And so I'm going to assign a variable um, answer, okay, um, to the Q message box question. All right. But I have to declare my variable answer and I'm going to say my answer is an integer. Okay, so int answer equals zero. All right, and then over here, I'm going to say answer uh, answer equals q message box question. Now remember what I had said to you. So if you have a look here, Q message box is not highlighted, okay? But um, Q input dialog is. So we need to include um, our Q message box. Q message box. And then all of a sudden, Q message box is highlighted the way that we wanted it to, okay? And then in our Q message box, we're going to um, put a question out and we're going to ask the user, do you want to try again? Okay. And the response, all right. And then Q message box, we're going to ask the two options are going to be yes. Um, or no. Q message box. No. Okay. Now, this return ax exec is um, a problem. I think it happens in the old um, in the old Qt. So what I normally do is I change this to return, and I say exit. Um, underscore success all right so if I run this it should prompt me and it should show the answer to the user but it's not going to do anything because I haven't added a loop in it and I just want to see if this will run okay so I'm just going to test it on its basic capacity Okay, there we go. Enter the temperature in Celsius, which is there. And if I expand this window, you can see here my title of temperature calculator appears over here. So I'm going to say that it's 21. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. And you'll see there, temperature 21 degrees. So this one over here is equivalent to... 69.8 Fahrenheit. Do you want to enter another temperature? Yes, I would. Oh dear, the thing just closed. So guess what? If I'm clever enough, I'll realize that this needs to go into a while loop. So I'm going to add do over here. Do. Okay. I'm going to open my brackets. 
and I'm going to go over here to the bottom and I'm going to close the bracket and I'm going to say while answer equals Q message Q message box yes and this will then allow the loop to repeat okay so just this just these simple words and now it will work with the repeat so I'll click on save all here I've got my temperature I'm gonna enter 20 there we go it's giving me 68 okay I say yes oh it's giving me another so I can enter 15 and there we go so now I can click on no and it is done and so this is how I've tackled um, assignment one question one for 2021 I hope that it's been informative that it's taught you something and that it won't help you just copy the code but that you'll actually get to understand and see how simple it can be thank you for watching um, enjoy this module it's a lovely module good luck and goodbye